Hello, welcome to SCL1 TNO Knitting Project Podcast. My name is Sharon and I'm coming to you from Surrey in the UK where I live with my family, three cats and a dog. Today is Thursday the 1st of July 2021 and this is episode 99. Looks like we're having a party next week. <laughs> um, welcome if you're a new viewer welcome back if you're a returning viewer thank you so much for joining me today i apologize wholeheartedly for a lack of um podcast last week um i had a very busy week working week the week before and ended up with no content um which as you can imagine for me um meant it was quite a hard week because i do miss my knitting when i can't do it and i do quite do quite a lot of it and i just didn't I just didn't have chance to knit I had the odd stitch here and there and that was it so um, I had to not podcast last week so I've got a lot of content this week which is great um, and also obviously I did throw up um, some little vlogs and I know vlogs are not everybody's cup of tea and I do understand that but um, I had such a lovely weekend I thought I'd vlog so there'll be a podcast next week which will be the hundredth episode so I might have to try and think of something fun to do for that um and then after that i'll be going back into vlogging again until after the 17th of july so i will not be podcast there will not be a podcast on the 11th or the 18th because i'm away um hold on there will be one on the 11th because that's next week's so there will be one on the 11th that will be the 800th episode um but there will won't be one on the 18th because i'm going to be away but i'm planning on vlogging between the 9th and the 17th i think when we get back so there will be some episodes um apologies for any background noise you can hear my next door neighbor um not leaf blower man the other side um is having some building work done and i i i this is my only chance to record so i've got to go with it so um apologies if you can hear that i've got all the windows shut so hopefully it's not too bad right should we shoot straight into admin so I haven't drawn for any of the cows um, for the end of June yet, just because I thought, A, it'd be nice thing to do on the 100th episode, and B, I haven't got my act together. Um, so I'm going to leave that open for a couple of days just to get grabbing the tail enders. Um, it'll be closed by the time you see this, to be fair. Um, and apologies to the May winners. I have not sent your prizes yet. I just haven't had chance. I will get on to that um, before I go on holiday that is my deadline so um, for July's stripy sock cow the extra entry yarns are bumbling yarns which is a crafter's balm the lonely knitter shawl and Stahl, which is s h s c h o l l e r and s t a h l sorry if i've butchered that completely and nomadic yarns so if you've got any of those that's your extra entry um and i haven't drawn for the square a day but your check-in is 181 or 547 so um good luck with that so that's it for the news for the knit along i don't think i have anything else for admin so shall we have a look at some knitting i've got my giant coffee cup um for those that are worried and i had um a drink with my friend sally on sunday um this is not um like double coffee i only have one shot of coffee i have an awful lot of hot, hot water with it so I still have this same amount of coffee as you would do in a smaller cup and just have it in a bigger cup and a bit weaker. Right, so day one is socks and I have a lot of socks this week. Um, should we start with the finished object first? So my finished objects are my SSS socks, which stand for the Sherry Iris Summer Shorties. So there's that one, which is the green one, and that one, which is the pink one. I mean, I'm not even sure I could call these sisters not twins, but um, they are very different and they're very sparkly and they're very lovely. And I have thoroughly enjoyed uh, making these and I am very much looking forward to wearing them. They are um, washed and blocked, but they are not quite dry yet. So we've had such awful weather here down in the southeast. I know the north of the country, you've had much better weather, but it's been really muggy cloudy and wet so nothing has dried it's it's just been permanently damp um and these are a case in point which sidebar it's the week that my tumble dryer decided to pack in so we couldn't even get stuff dried in the tumble dryer it's been a bit of a week um so yeah the, the girls have been wearing some odd combinations because they couldn't get their clothes dry oh so that anyway that's my shorty socks which i finished i'm just going to grab from the top of the pile because 
it is a pile. Um, my next project is a brand new cast on yesterday because this particular set of minis have been yelling at me to knit them up into shorty socks, um, scrappy shorty socks, for ages and that I kind of gave in to them the other day. So this is what I'm knitting. This is West Green Love Yarns and this is the set of minis. I'll see if I can hold them all up. I don't think I can because they're all in little balls and they're really difficult to hold up. So that's <laughs> excuse Luna. Um that's four of them. And then the fifth one is attached to my sock. And this is how they are knitting up. And I have to say, I absolutely adore these. Look at that. Aren't they pretty? Um, so I only started this, um, not last night, the night before, and I did stop knitting them yesterday because I was on blanket day. Um, so this is sort of like a one evening and a little bit of yesterday morning. When I say a little bit of yesterday morning, I was awake at five because our um, tumble dryer was due to be delivered between 7am and 7pm. And I was so conscious I needed to be awake that I woke up really early, but um, the result is quite a lot of sock knitted um, so I've done a little I've done a twisted rib cuff I've done a little leg to make it a little ankle sock and heel flap and gusset and then I've done I've changed colour every it is actually every nine rows um, but you can see a clear eight rows and I just love it and I'm just repeating the colour all the way through so what I did was when I hit this green stripe which is where I wanted to do my heel flap I carried on in that color in the heel flap so that I didn't mi um, mess up the colors going down so that's the, they're gonna have these green heels um, but yeah I'm thoroughly thoroughly enjoying these they're so pretty and so much fun to knit so that's that one and that's hanging out in my lovely little embroidered sherry iris bag to be fair these are all going to have to take a back seat for a little while because it is the first of july so i will be casting on my july rainbow chronicle socks but i have not done that yet so that's sock project one sorry about that um right so next up is living in my lovely kelly bag that kelly made me um, Kelly is the dyer behind Lay Family Yarn. She has her own podcast called Lay Family HQ. Um, if you don't follow her, which yeah, I can't imagine you follow me and don't follow her, but if you don't, go over and check out her podcast. She is amazing and she's just from today set up a Patreon account as well. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, so this is the bag that she very kindly made for me and actually she shows her process on one of her episodes. And in here I have... Um, a Lay Family Yarn colourway called Three Ships In, um, which is really pretty. It's sort of a, a blue with pink and speckles and just lovely. And oh, I have knit a cuff. Oh, okay. A cuff and the heel flap on these. Um, and I did this while chatting to a friend on Saturday, on Sunday. Hi, Sally. Um, I haven't got any further with it because the um, West Green Loft Yarn socks attacked me. But again, it's got a twisted one by one rib and just a plain cuff. And I'm really, really enjoying working on these. Um, that will be the leaf blower now. I'm sorry, we're going to have to push through, otherwise, I'll we'll never get this done. Yeah, I'm really enjoying working on these and I absolutely adore this colourway. So. I'm <clears throat> making lots of shorty socks at the moment to try and make up for the fact I still can't find that box of missing socks, um, which I'm beginning to think something dre dreadful has happened to. So that's my next sock, Wait, I've got my Rainbow Chronicles. This bag will be used for my Rainbow Chronicles socks, so I'm gonna have to evict that project temporarily. Um, next up is the Liberty Lace socks, which are hanging out in this beautiful bag by um, Elderflower Stitches. And, oh, in here, I think I worked on these since you last saw them. I did, but not but very much. So I'm using the Victoriana colourway from Bumbling Yarns. Um, and that's what it's looking like knit up. That's my finished one, which you saw, I think, last week. Um, 
I haven't sewn my ends in yet and it's this beautiful lace pattern on the leg and then also there's a little lace pattern on the back too and I was there last week so I have done a few bits and pieces down here and again got the pattern on the back I'm kind of speed going through these this week just because I need to get it done so that I can get it edited and I did a little cast on in the first row in my contrast colour my contrast mini which is this beautiful little one here it's just one from my stash and I'm afraid I don't know who dyed it it's very pretty and it goes really well with the colourway um, so I'm really enjoying this pattern it's the Liberty Lace Socks and it's by Becky Norman who's got a load of lovely lovely um, sock patterns out at the moment and has the Bex Creates podcast um, I love these really love these <clears throat> so that's my day one is socks day I have a, a fair few on the go at the moment um, I guess talk to you about the project in a little while um, I'll try and remember to do that in life stuff um, I'm not good, very good at remembering these things I w watch back it back in um, editing and go yep forgot to talk about that never got brought that back round so yeah that's day one is socks um, day two is accessories and at the moment I'm working on my Kalani scarf which is now hanging out because it's got so big in the lovely basket that's stitched by Mrs D the lovely Paula gave me for my birthday which was absolutely perfect for this so it's all hanging out the basket of loveliness and this is the Kalani scarf by um, the little tailoress um, Amy Loudon um, have I got I can never find the picture for this when I want to show it. Uh -huh. I don't think I've got the pictures, but yes, I have. There we go. So this is the Kalani scarf by the lovely Amy. It's really pretty, and I'm using um, the advent I got from Dandelion and Dogwood, which is her yarn company with her sister, to. Make the scarf so it's made with fingering weight and um, kid silk mohair held double. Um, this is just Rowan kid silk um, haze. And last time you saw this, I have made a fair bit of progress on this. Last time you saw this, it was there, and I have done three minis worth. So I've gone from that bluey color there. And then there's um, a, a yellow and another yellow. <laughs> there's two yellows together. Not too sure about that as two together, if I'm honest. But it's mohair. I'm not ripping it back. <clears throat> so it's getting, it's getting longer. So it started off there. And now we're into there. And now we've, um, can you see this is quite a, if I hold it that way up. Um, there's quite an intricate lace pattern on this bit um, which um, for me is not telly knitting and I always knew it would come into its own in the summer when you could sit in the garden and knit because that's happened this week um, but now I'm into a much simpler um, stitch pattern so I can I can actually do this a little bit better when I'm watching telly or um, in actual fact I've managed to do this in the car recently um, only if I'm on the motorway if we're doing like a scenic tour I would knit on it because I can't look out the window and knit on this but when we're just stuck in the motorway which I've done a lot of motorway over the weekend um, I can in actual fact knit on this so yeah fair amount of progress on that one and I'm loving it really loving it so pretty um, I've got quite a lot of this left over from each section so um, I'm not sure what I'm going to make with it but maybe lots of shorty socks as I said more about that to come I really need to make myself a note to talk about that hold on project going forward right look I've made myself a note and I've stuck it under the tripod if I managed to forget to talk about it now I'm doing really well 
so that's day two um, and his accessories oh day three is my ed my edt and that is hanging out in my um a yarn dyer's daughter bag um i've had a question about the lace work on the edt um i used an Anne bud pattern from um her sock book um for my lace but if you choose a lace pattern just count the number of stitches you're going to have um, and see if it divides by the lace pattern so if it's an eight stitch um lace pattern repeat your um number of stitches you've got on your needles needs to be divisible by eight um and sometimes if it's only like one or two stitches out you can wrangle it but um that's what I did and I didn't have a problem with mine it just matched up I don't know if it's going to match up on the bottom at, of course I will need to do a little bit of math for that one um and apologies for not messaging you back on Instagram I just haven't had chance so where are we with this we have only got this amount of a Cornish way left now it's this tiny little nugget so I'm now helical knitting it in with my mango sunset and um, I've got some really good lighting today which is really nice I'm enjoying the lighting so you should be able to see that it's getting a little bit pinker at the bottom here hold on this always comes out tangled doesn't it I think it's because it's so many ends right so can i there we go so can you see it's getting a little bit pinker now or peachier it's really a peach um towards the end there so then it will go into um full on this for a little while and then i will split it and do the lace um but it's just not quite long enough and that's where i've got that's where i was and that's how much i've done so i've done a fair bit of this um, when I was seeing my lovely friend Kelly last weekend, I knit on this quite a lot. Um, so, yeah, I've started to put this in because there's not enough of the Cornish way to do the body. That's how far the body was. Um, and I wanted it a bit longer than that before I split. And I'm going to split hem it and then do the lace front and back. It's going to be quite long. Um, but yeah, I love, love, love how this is going. So as you can see it's just going into the peachy colour at the bottom there now. I'm going to keep helical knitting until I've run out of the Cornish way and then I will go into the mango sunset. Um, so this is the little um, lace pattern. As I said it is from a sock from the Anne Bud sock book um, but I think it's called trellis lace so if you look up trellis lace um, you should be able to find find a pattern I think this is only um, a four stitch repeat to get this trellis lace um, but yeah if you, if you look that up um, you should get something similar but any lace stitch will work basically but you just need to be able to wrangle your maths um, I'm so pleased with this I cannot wait to get it finished um, I'm using four millimeter needles and I'm using some tiny circumference four millimeter needles so I can just knit round and round and round and round so it's a giant sock stage um, I think when I get to splitting them off I will have to find a longer cable because that will be in the danger of the, the stitches falling off each end because it will be straight at that point not in the round um, so I'll probably have to locate a longer cable these are these are fixed higher higher bamboos which are I love these needles. They're my second favourite after Licky needles. Um, and I've really enjoyed using them. They started out quite a light colour. They've gone quite dark now. So the more you use them, they darken down. Um, so yeah, that's the EDT. That's the bones of the EDT by Isabel Kramer. Um, but with modifications, it's got longer sleeves than the ED. I'm not doing the short row shaping at the front. I'm doing a split hem. And I have put lace on my sleeves so it's kind of the numbers for the ed but the actual kind of pattern is my own adaptation um and that's hanging out in my as i said yarn dye his daughter bag so that's day three day four is baby knits and i am doing 
a baby flax light um, which is a pattern by tin can knits now my pattern has gone walkabouts so is that it hold on no that is not it um, my pattern has gone walkabouts so I can't show you the pattern which is a bit annoying um, but and everything has come out that I don't need <laughs> but the stuff I do need has stayed in the bag uh, bear with a lot of needles here that I don't need right let's pop you back so this is a little raglan sweater with um, garter stitch detail down the sleeves and I'm doing the first size which I think is 0 to 6 months um, and this is for a little grandbaby that is due in September um, and I am I think I'm a, an inch off of finishing the bottom again um, it's um, I'm on using higher higher bamboos this is the same size actually as on my ED and I am doing the garter stitch detail down the sleeve although to me it, some of it's reverse stocking stitch like up the top there can you see and then I, I kind of got the hang of it but to be honest the, the people that it's going to aren't going to notice so I'm not that worried about it the yarn was dyed by me um, where I've been playing with my dye pots and I am actually so pleased with how this is knit up I really like it um, but I could never do it again <laughs> So I could never be a yarn, yarn dyer. It would be one-off colourways only. You know, you wouldn't get a sweater's quantity out of me, that's for sure. But, yeah, that's what I'm using. This is just a um, four-ply merino nylon superwash. So hopefully they can't do too much damage to it. Um, and, yeah, it's really cute. Nearly, as I said, nearly at the end of the body. And then I've just got to put the sleeves on. But really pleased with that. So that's that, that's the, as I said, the Flax Light by Tin Can Knits. Sorry I haven't got a picture. Um, I'm probably going to have to print out my pattern again. I may not print out the pattern again. I might just um, try and do it from my phone. Um, so that's hanging out in my seaside bag by Busy Pottering, which she very kindly gifted me. Um, day five, oh, I'll fluff up my nose from that um, Kalani. Day five is my DK sweater day. Um, and that is hanging out in my um, flower fairy bag from Donna's Designs and this is my love note which I think might be another one that hasn't got a pattern at the moment doing well here um, no. so this is the love note by Tin Can Knits I'm slightly concerned as to where the pattern has gone to this I thought that was in there and I have now Hold on, let's get it round the right way. I have got one sleeve done. I have got the other sleeve done. I am slightly worried about the cuff. I'm slightly worried about all the rib on this actually. Um, I'm slightly worried that these cuffs are going to be too tight, so I may have to pull them out and re knit them. I'm also worried that the neck is going to be too tight, and I might have to do the same with that. But um, it's a lace work yoke sweater. As I said, it's a love note by Tin Can Knits. I am using DK yarn as opposed to the um, fingering weight and mohair held double. And I'm using the recommended needle size. So it's quite an open weave, floppy jumper. It's really nice. I actually really like it. So I am just on the body now. I'm going round and round and round. And... That is my, that's my first ball of yarn. So I've got that much left of my first ball. This is my second. And I've got um, two more of these left. So um, I could either make it really, really long or I could make a second one or make something else. I probably wouldn't make a second love note in the same colour. I would make a second love note, just not in the same colour. Um, so it's quite good on yarn um, and this was yarn that Laura of the Lonely Knitter, Crafters Balm and Bumbling Yarns kindly um, dyed especially for me and gifted to me 
because she's super sweet she also has a podcast go check her out and um yeah getting there with that getting there with that now that i've um got a dedicated day on day five for a dk sweater um i am actually getting some work done which is great i'm really enjoying that um so that's kind of working out for me so that's a day five which is sweater day i'm just going to pause you for a moment while i find day six because that's not where it's supposed to be so day six is blanket day and the blanket that got all the love this week so i did my um craft 20 day which is a knit along or make along i should say with ellie of craft house magic um and again she has her own podcast if you don't follow her i can't imagine why you wouldn't but go check her out um so it's part of my 20 minutes a day um and it's because it it's the jelly roll blanket by Kay jones it's a really easy knit so i can actually get 20 minutes at my desk sometimes not all the time but sometimes um so i've made some progress on this this week i finished the first so i should say i'm using um mini sets from a bumbling yarns which is the lovely laura and she she is gifting me these each month bless her um so i'm making these lovely this lovely blanket with her amazing minis so i've done the first set which was doctor who so it's the browns at the bottom goes into the black then the gray and multicolor into blue and then on this row it's the purpley blue blue pink and then i'm now starting buffy the vampire slayer so the first 10 are january and i'm now starting february um i was doing the math on this i think i need to, need to do six months on this blanket so um it may be finished quicker than i thought but i love these little blanket packs from laura i'm very grateful that she sends them to me and i'm really enjoying the jelly roll pattern now i was getting bent out of shape because these aren't matching up completely um but then i just like oh do you know what just let it go um actually that one did match up completely where's one that didn't that one's a couple of rows out there but in actual fact it just it just adds to the charm of the blanket and i want to use the full mini um so that i don't have any leftovers um i think it's gonna look really pretty and it'll be a lovely um sampler of her club which I think is a really sweet thing to do with something that's been gifted to you so that's my jelly roll blanket as i said it's a pattern by Kay jones of the bakery bears um, so I, this one should have the pattern in the bottom of it so it's going to look something like that when it's finished and i'm yeah i'm really enjoying it really enjoying it so that's day six blanket day so i haven't got my square as eight because quite simply i have not worked on it all week um i have been sleeping in really late um and i've had very little knitting time in the mornings and the one day i did have a lot of knitting time i knit the socks so i haven't got my square a day um hopefully that will reappear next week um so i'm gonna go straight into happy mail which is not so much happy mail as happy gifting this week um as I said, I met my lovely friend Sally at um, the weekend on Sunday. If you um, have watched my vlogs, you will have seen her. And she very kindly gifted me this yarn, which I think is from Beatrix Yarns, um, which is a South African dyer. And it's called Camo Girl. It's really pretty. I love, love, love pink and green together. Um, oh, so pretty. So I think um, it's a merino, 100% merino. Um, so I'm thinking maybe gloves or a hat it's really lovely so that's that one and then also my lovely friend Kelly who I also saw at the weekend um, gifted me a skein of yarn which is Sunset Over the Harbour which I adore I mean this is so like the colours in my EDT um, and quite honestly is my favourite kind of colorways from lay family yarn i love the peach with the speckles and so when i saw this i was like oh i've got to have that one um i mean if it hadn't 
if I, if I'd needed another one for my EDT, it would have gone in my EDT, but um, I don't need another one now. It's just so pretty. Um, and I got a couple of little minis to contrast with it in case I want to make socks. So this is from, this is number 71, I think. Yeah, 71 um, from Nyx Pick and Mix, which are available on her website. So that's the, the logo, um, and I love it. As I said, just love the colours. Um, what about the peach this summer? Interesting. So I think it might have been inspired by this cardigan, you know. Now, this is a cardigan that my mum knit my dad, um, and I was keeping it as a keepsake of my dad. Um, and then I tried it on, and I was like, oh, I really like this, so I'm just wearing it, basically. Um, now, I think I've seen the pattern for this amongst my mum's knitting stuff. Um, I need to locate my mum's knitting stuff and uh, it's around here somewhere um, and I think if I can find the pattern I might actually knit myself another one the only thing that puts me off is that this is knitting pieces and I've kind of got into knitting the round now so I don't have to do the summing up but having said that I think one of the things I like about this cardigan is the structure that's come from it being sewn up as I'm a willing end sewer, I mean, I'm not so keen on mattress stitch, um, but equally, it's it is lovely. It is really nice. I have to say the vast at the bottom here, that vast amount of one by one rib would put me off. Look at that. <laughs> Given the size of this, mum needs a medal for that. And it's a separate sewn on um ball band um not ball band um button band that was it but i think i think i'd fudge that and because it's 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 just ribbed i think i'd fudge that and just rib it on the end um so yeah i'm thinking of anyway that was a sidebar in the middle of happy mail wasn't it i'm thinking of maybe doing something like this and finding some dk tweed yarn to do it in Anyway, in fact, I have DK tweed yarn, so I could actually just raid my stash. Anyway, next up, Happy Mail. I have a club, um, and this is the Woody Goodness Colours of 2021 Club for June. So if you haven't got yours, look away now. So that's our card. That's the little progress keeper that comes. Come on, stop swinging. That comes with this once, which is so pretty such a little pretty one and um, a bit of a theme to this week's podcast these are the colours <laughs> aren't they lovely oh, makes me happy I'm definitely all about the pastels at the moment um, so that's it for Happy Mail you can look back now um, so yes just really news from the knitting project now um, as I said, obviously I had a really lovely weekend, so you would have seen that um, in the vlogs, if you want to see that in the vlogs. I do not have much vlog footage for the end of this podcast, obviously because um, I put it all in a vlog. Um, Ian is up in Blackpool visiting his mum, um, so he has sent me some beach shots from Blackpool, so you will see those, they will come up in the end. Um, he did, bless him, do a load of commentary, but he's got such bad wind. He's not got such bad wind, it is windy. <laughs> Whoops. Um, oh dear, shall I leave that bed in? Um, it's windy, um, you can't hear him bless his heart he's, he's a bit new at all this vlogging business but he tried love his love him um so that will be coming up at the end i mean it's not even like i do shots of my garden unless you want to see a really soggy garden honestly what is with this weather down in the south we are having the most awful weather um today actually it's sunny i'm hoping fingers crossed it's staying for a couple of days but um on sunday my um tumble dryer had curled up its toes and at that point the weather forecast was rain all week and it did it has rained all week and worse than that during the rain it has been um cloud on the surface so it's been like foggy and muggy so nothing's dried indoors either um poor old megs is um it's, well she's down to raiding mine in her sister's wardrobe to go to work now um 
so that's been an absolute nightmare but happily we had a tumble dryer delivered yesterday and it really annoys me because we wouldn't normally be using the tumble dryer this time of the year I, we're a big advocate of drying everything outside um although ironically it looks like the weather's going to come good now we've got the tumble dryer life hey <laughs> um you're not sure you needed to know all that but hey um so yeah that happened um work has calmed down a little bit for me thank goodness it's not been quite so bad this week so far today may be challenging um and the only thing else i was gonna say is about the knitting project so um i'm gonna be going away on the 9th and traditionally i do not keep the rotation going when i'm away because i don't really want to cart six projects away with me now at the moment there is a good chance I will cart six projects away with me because of the type of projects they are. Um, socks, obviously I will have socks and I've got so many single socks now that need a friend. Um, it would be a good opportunity to make all their partners. Um, and I will also have this month's um, oh, <laughs> Lay Family Yarn socks. Apparently I have um, just opened those the wrong way around. So they've all just fallen out. <laughs> so yeah, that's my lay family arm pack for this month so they will probably go with me if i haven't already finished them um my edt is a definite um unless i'm on the lace stage in which case i might rethink that my love note also a definite um kalani probably and um i will take a blanket with me so i'm going to take six days of but i won't necessarily work on them all <laughs> it'll be depending on my mood on the day um, and some of what we're doing, if we're going on a long car journey, for instance, then socks are far more portable than either the ED or the Love Note now, even though they're both at Giant's sock stage. So um, it could be an interesting couple of weeks on the knitting project, as I said. Um, where I will be doing some vlogs. Um, I won't be podcasting that one week I will miss. Um, next week is the 100th episode, so that's kind of cool. I might do a giveaway for that too um because you know i'm doing really well with posting them but yeah i might try and do a giveaway for that um and this coming weekend um i think we're trying to go out tomorrow and then um saturday and sunday we're going to be busy getting all our camping equipment sorted and packed because we're going camping um and then um next week it'll be a rundown to the hundredth episode and our camping trip so that's exciting anyway i need to go because i need to get this um edited so apologies if this is a shorter one every time i say that it seems to oh, still be an hour long but i don't think it can be so apologies if this is a shorter one apologies if it's seen a little bit rushed i do really want to get this up for you because um I know some people have missed the podcast, not having a podcast last week, so I wanted to make sure I get this up this week. And it, as I said, it's a bit of a one shot because going out tomorrow, doing sorting the camping stuff Saturday, not going to have any chance to get edited. So I really need this to sort its life out quite quickly today. Um, so, yeah, I hope you're all OK wherever you are. Take care and I'll see you next week for the 100th episode. <laughs>